Hi there. I uh, thought I'd show you something different today. This is a uh, Fields of Glory a plaster model diorama base that I've been uh, working on. It's not quite finished completely, but it's pretty much there. I think it looks pretty good, um, especially for well, it's a ready-made diorama base, but uh, I've added some bits to it for the um, for this grassy part here and here. I've used this uh, MIG product. Can't really stony mountain ground, and. Um, do is basically tear it off the, uh, uh, the packet and rip it up into the approximate shapes you want to use. And you can see the result. I think this is pretty good. It's nice here. I've sealed up the edges because it does leave these little edges. I can maybe still do another bit with uh, this. Vallejo thick mud. I used quite a lot of it because it um, the actual base was quite um, uh, was all kinds of lumps and bumps in it, and um, it can be difficult, particularly so along here, to get the uh, terrain to conform, the stony mountain ground to conform to the actual plaster base. So it was necessary to fill all that, sort of fill the gap in, to make it look better. But I think it came out pretty well. Um, I might, I might not finish there. I've, I've got these, which I might add. And I think the colours that I've used here are, were not great. Um, these vehicle tracks are built into the base; they come with it. But I might. Um, make those a bit more muddy looking, a bit browner in colour. And uh, the other thing I was thinking of using was uh, this fine leaf foliage. Um, you can see there. I was thinking he's using some of that on it, but um, perhaps I don't really need it. And uh, well, I think the base looks pretty good as it is. I haven't got anything to go on it. I haven't got any model kit or anything, so uh, I'm going to have to buy something, I think, to go on there. I've also, um, I also took the opportunity of ordering up some more terrain mats. They're from uh, Make ammo by make i ordered them from their website so they came from spain this one is um stony step a bit different texture to the first one doesn't have all those stones and everything that you see there though it's called stony step and then this one is called spring step and it's a much plainer one but again once you tear it up and shred it up a bit um, it could look suitably uh, random. Anyway, I thought I'd uh, show you that because it, uh, I thought it would give pretty good results, this Fields of Glory model, and they're, they're pretty cheap. I put the price and the actual model number of the base in, the, uh, in some subtitles to this. I'm also testing out a new camera which I've got. This is the um, iPhone 11 camera. And um, uh, just to see how it works, it's recording in 4K at 60 frames per second. So we'll see how that uh, turns out. And I will just quickly show you some of these other Fields of Glory bases that I got. There's this one, which is like a street corner base with a. Got a manhole there and some um, some bricks, some brick debris, and a little bit of pavement. 
and a cobbled type straight. It's more of a brick than a cobbled, but there's that, there's that one. And then I also have this one, which is a bigger base. Now this one came, it doesn't, it doesn't have a corner section, it doesn't come with it. But you can buy two walls to go there to sort of cover it up and it's got like a basement window light again same brickwork straights uh great in i felt I, I put a plastic card underneath this glued it to it and then filled it in with some uh putty plaster stuff um put a little wooden frame around it just cut that with a craft knife and I've got to paint that yet and finish it off. Then I've got to decide what to put on it. So that's my whole selection of um, Fields of Glory bases. And um, I'll just leave you with another look, or a look, at the overall diorama effect. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.